In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to translate all the text that comes with BuddyBoss theme. There are really two use cases where you might want to do this. One is if your site is going to be running in any language other than English, then you'll want a translation to your language. The other possibility is that your site is in English, however, you want to edit some of the text that comes with the English text of BuddyBoss theme. So the first thing you'll want to do here is set your site to be in the correct language. So to do that, we'll go into settings general. And then from here, we can select site language and you could pick any other language if you wanted to. And whichever language you select here is going to be the language that we're going to translate the site into. It's important that you do this because that's the only way the next steps will work. And also this will automatically translate WordPress itself into your chosen language and other plugins that support these methods will also be translated to that language. So for me, I'll just keep it as English because that's my language. And then I'm going to go to plugins, add new. And now you're going to search for a plugin called Loco Translate. This is the one by Tim Whitlock, it has almost a million installations. So let's go ahead and click install now and activate. And now we can see we have a new menu area called Loco Translate. In this Loco Translate menu, we'll go into themes and we can see we have Buddy Boss theme. Let's click that. And then here we can see it says no translations found for Buddy Boss theme. So we'll click new language. And I'm gonna select English, you would select whichever language you assigned your site into. And then it gives us three options for where it will store the translation. You'll wanna pick one of the first two. This is gonna store it in the local folder. I would pick this as this is kind of the most standard way of doing it in WordPress. Author, you do not wanna do. If you do that, it's gonna store the language file in the theme itself. And that means when we update the theme, it's gonna get lost. So you don't want that. I would go ahead with system and click start translating. And then now we can take any piece of text and translate it. So let me go to my profile for a second. I'm gonna to try to edit this text that says edit profile. So I'll search for it. That's the one. This is the source text. We're gonna change what it says. We'll just do something obvious. Let's refresh. And it worked. And we can always come back here and delete our override. I want to show you one more thing, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go back into settings general, and I just want to show you what the front end of the site looks like when you change the language. So here we have English. I'm going to change it into a language that's going to read right to left. And then here, if we look at the front end and look at our Buddy Boss theme, we can see everything is flipped to right to left to match that right to left language. So in this tab, I have the default English format and here I have a right to left format. So it's pretty cool. Basically, you can translate the Buddy Boss platform to another language. You can translate Buddy Boss theme to another language. And if you're running an RTL language, then the whole theme will flip right to left to match as well.